folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Today we're going to be talking through actions and how you can use them to make your dashboard dynamic. Uh, the way to uh, edit the actions is to go into your dashboard menu here and click on actions. Uh, in here, you'll get a list of all the actions that are currently set up. Right now, we don't have any in this uh, in this dashboard, uh, but you can also add them. Uh, and there are three types. You can add a filter action, a highlight action, or a URL action. Filter action obviously just uh, will filter one visualization based on uh, the value that you get in another visualization. Um, highlight will highlight one uh, visualization based on what you have in uh, another visualization and a URL action will uh, take you to a specific URL uh, and you can also make that so that it's based on what you have um, in the uh, in one visualization. So let's go ahead and create a filter action. That's normally the, uh, the quickest way to do this. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use sheet two, which is this list of states. Um, so we're going to drive it with sheet two. It's going to impact both sheet one and sheet two. Uh, and when we clear the selection, we want it to go ahead and show all values. The target filters that we're going to have, we'll just see, uh, you can add um, all of the fields that are linked between the two uh, data sets. In this case, they're both part of the same data source, but we're just going to have it target all fields for now. Um, since both these visualizations contain the same information, they're just displaying it in different ways. Go ahead and click OK. You can see our filter action popped up here as filter number one. Let's go ahead and click OK, and I'll show you how it works. So basically, when you click in here, you can see that when we click on something here, it brings up each state as we click on the filter. So let's go back to our actions, edit that. Now you can see that uh, it wasn't doing it directly when I clicked on it because it's set to have it uh, when you select it from a menu. You can also just have it do it when you select or when you hover. So if we selected select, then as soon as we clicked on one of these items down here, you can see our top graph changes and then we can click off it to get rid of it. Now, we have a hierarchy in here, so if we went down to the uh, individual city level, we could click on Montgomery, Alabama. It's going to bring up Montgomery, then Auburn, Decatur, Huntsville, etc., etc., etc. So, um, very useful for creating filters and uh, filtering the data in one visualization based on another visualization. visualization. Easy for me to say. Now, the uh, other action that we were looking at was a highlight action. So let's go ahead and go back into our actions menu and create a highlight action. In this case, we're well, going, going to create a highlight action using sheet one, which is the map, to highlight something in sheet two. I'm going to show you how that will work. So we're going to go ahead and say when we select something in sheet one, we want it to impact everything. And again, we want it to be, we want to highlight all the fields that we have the option to highlight. So let's go ahead and click OK. And then click OK again. We'll open up the state here. And then let's go ahead and zoom in maybe on this area right here, somewhere in the northeast. So uh, you can see that Philadelphia is a big dot. If we click on Philadelphia, you can see that everything's grayed out until we get all the way down to Philadelphia. There you go. So Philadelphia is highlighted there. Uh, we could also highlight, that's going to be Delaware. Let's go up and see what else there is. So there's Lancaster, Reading, Bethlehem various different places in uh, in Pennsylvania. If we wanted to have just Pennsylvania, right, we could click on that. That's going to highlight everything in Pennsylvania. This fil this highlight action will still work, right? So it's still going to highlight the city name whenever we click on a, on a dot. All right. That's how highlight and filtering actions work. Obviously, you can drive those with any type of visualization you want. Let's go ahead and create ourselves a URL action. So what we want to do, again, go up here, go into actions. We're going to add an actions. This one's going to be go to a URL, and then the URL that we're going to use, we're going to drive it with sheet two, and then we're going to say we want to go to, and then we're going to add the state name on the end. All right, so let's go ahead and test that. And you can see that that's taken us to North Dakota. Click OK, 
And you can see that now we have a hyperlink uh, that uh, comes up when we select it from a menu in our dashboard. So we can click on Philadelphia, click on this hyperlink, and then within this uh, URL box, you can see now we have information about Pennsylvania. Um, same thing if we wanted to look at, oh, I don't know, say South Dakota, you could click on Rapid City in here um, and then hover over Rapid City rather. Click on the hyperlink. That's going to take you to South Dakota. We'll probably want to filter for South Dakota too. So that is a uh, very basic introduction as to how you develop uh, dashboard actions. Obviously, you can chain those together in various ways to create interesting uh, interesting views and interesting uh, interactions between the visualizations in your dashboard and allow your users new ways to explore their data. Uh, so that does it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, there's a link to the data set and to the workbook in the video description. Uh, and if you like what you hear, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and we will see you next time.